Vic, the teachers union sent a letter here to city school headquarters on North Avenue asking that every impacted school be closed for now. In the meantime, the superintendent says at least 60 schools have been impacted somehow. Baltimore Public Schools are battling the elements inside buildings. It's what real bad cool. Like today? if you go out and you go in the hallway, you can see your breath. This photo of students bundled up circulated on social media. A teacher who didn't want to be identified told WJZ some teachers brought space heaters to school. It needs to be done. You know, and I feel as though we shouldn't react to situations. We should prevent situations from happening. Um, as I said before, everyone know winter is coming. Cold classrooms has infuriated parents. The water is cold. It's unbearable. It's icicles in the classroom. The system says schools with heating problems or burst pipes, some that cause water damage, are a priority. We are doing our best to try to match keeping the building as warm and comfortable as possible with the fact that these kids have to be in school. At least six schools were forced to dismiss early or close altogether. Word of this problem reached the highest level of state government. The governor chimed in saying the city has gotten record funding for three consecutive years. We don't think kids should be sweating to death in unair conditioned classrooms or freezing to death. A source told WJZ teachers passed around caulk in an attempt to block out cold air. This teacher called the frigid temps a distraction. It shouldn't be something that we should stress about or to fuss about. It should be something that's already accommodated for us. You know, we want our students to be uh, the best that they can be. Now, the superintendent says she is very well aware that some schools may have to close for additional days because colder days are in the forecast. Live tonight, Ava Joy Burnett for WJZ.